Honey, you and Zach, you have beat incredible odds. And your love is stronger than ever. Greenlee doesn't control me. But as much as you hate it, she does matter to me. As a friend? Yes. <sighs> Honey, do you see Opal treating me the way Greenlee treats you? Well, it's different. How? Greenlee and I have a more uh, complicated relationship. Greenlee is not at all complicated. Greenlee is completely transparent. Mom, I'm the one who slept with her boyfriend. You made a mistake. Well, Greenlee didn't have sex with Zach in the bomb shelter. Of course not. Because Zach would never even consider that. And of course, Greenlee would like you to believe there's something more going on between them. Well, when you put it that way... Forget Greenlee for the moment. Find your emotional center. Harness your chi. And use it to rise above all this destructive drama. My chi? Your emotional and spiritual energy that comes from within. Shut out all the chaos. All this, this, this chaos. Focus, focus on the rhythm of your breathing. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think prison actually agrees with you. <laughs> Well, that's because I focus on what I can control. Right. So, don't let Greenlee have so much control over how I'm feeling. Exactly. Don't mess with my head like that, Zach. I can't handle it. I felt good last night for the first time in weeks. I just don't want you to make a bad situation worse. Aiden already did that. Fair enough. You know, when I gave him back his ring, he said that I was using what happened with Kendall as an excuse not to marry him. Really? Yeah. It's obnoxious, right? Who knew the British could be so cocky? So, are you? Am I what? Using what happened with Kendall so you don't have to marry Aiden. No, of course not. Do you think that's what I'm doing? We had a conversation not too long ago. After he proposed to you and you turned him down. And? And you were trying to win him back and you said, if you love someone, you can forgive anything. Have you forgiven Kendall for sleeping with Aiden? Sure. Last night he said he still loves me and he wants to work it out. But you don't. I don't think I can. Maybe he loves you more than you love him. I'm not going to qualify how much I loved Aiden or how much he loves me. All I know is I don't want him anymore. Not after what happened with Kendall. What if it had been somebody else? It wasn't someone else. It was my best friend. Your wife. Thanks, Dad. I feel a lot better. Hey, you. Well, look at this. My two beautiful daughters in one place. It's going to be a while before that happens again. Sit. Sit. Really, we're going to miss you while you're away. Ah! But we know you're going to do great in MIT. Please. You know, she, she, she brought her course catalog. It's on her computer here. Has her classes picked out for the next two semesters. I've dedicated 55.4 hours a week for studying and 14.8 for extracurricular and socializing. Well, I hope you find time to email us once in a while. I did. I included that in my calculations. I can write 10 emails a week in 48 minutes with this new computer that gave me. Early going away present. Very generous. Hey. Well, I know you're going to miss Dad while you're gone. Yeah, I, I'm going to need someone to watch a smile. Well, you can count on me. I don't think you'll be very good at it. Why not? Because your smiling to non-smiling ratio is usually pretty low. We're working on that. Maybe Kendall can help you. Dad says that even though he and Erica are now divorced, she can still be our sister. And you usually smile a lot more when she's around. So how do I focus my chi? You take comfort in the little things. 
embrace embrace the peace that comes from an alternative repetitive action like doing laundry laundry yes i've been doing it every day since i've been here and and what i'm suggesting to you is that you find peace in routine it can be in in and and spike schedules it can be quiet dinners at home it can be a quiet time with zach but above all else you just shut out the chaos okay okay and if you can't cut greenly out of your life forever at least you can make sure she doesn't control your life you can't control greenly but you can control yourself it doesn't feel that way honey you are a very capable businesswoman. You are a wonderful mother. It's just this outside chaos thing that throws you off track, and it comes from your so-called friend, Greenlee. If you could just not let Greenlee get to you, then you will have a long and happy marriage with Zach. I'll try. No, don't try. Do it. I want you to be strong, and I want you to be confident. Sorry, Miss King. Visiting hours are over. Already? Okay. Well, that's something that we, uh, we can't control. Yeah. So you remember what I said. You take care of yourself. Strong, and you be confident. In other words, be your daughter. In other words, you be yourself. I love you, sweetheart. I love you, too. Look, I, I want to remember any way I can, and I honestly, I trust you both. But this is not about me, okay? I just want Ryan to have all the options instead of wasting his time on expensive tests that don't You're go anywhere. Oh, really? I was just thinking the same thing about you. Uh, would you excuse me, Ryan? I'm sorry, but I need to talk to you. Sure. Out in the hall. We'll be back. Dr. Crowder, you have a visitor in the morning. Look, I'm sorry I snapped. But you're pumping Ryan full of hope about a highly experimental procedure. We need time to research this before he gives it real consideration. We, we, we know you have your way of dealing with patients, and I have my way. You don't even work in this hospital. I'm sorry, is this a turf war all of a sudden? No, I'm just saying... Look, I worked at this hospital. In fact, I ran the joint for a while, so I know all about professional courtesy. Don't ever talk that way to me in front of a patient again. Ever. Jake had to go, but I'm sure he'll be back. Uh, listen, if you don't mind, I just want to um, draw some blood. Oh, yeah, sure. What are we looking for? Well, another symptom or indicator that might suggest this is spiral. What about Jake's idea? We should look into it. Do you think it could work? Um, yeah, it could work. Or it could kill you. Probing my brain could be fatal. Anytime you fool with the brain. I understand that, but I... Listen, I'm going to get uh, these new tests to the lab, and I'll call you with the results. Okay, great. Ryan, I know that you're looking for the quick fix to your problem, but it really is best to explore every avenue before you consider a potentially risky surgery. Okay, thank you for uh, seeing me, doctor. I appreciate it. I'll be in touch. Okay. Mr. Lavery. Sorry about all that before. It's been a while since I've had to deal with the hospital politics. So do, you, do you really think that this treatment could work? It's a long shot. But I think it's a shot worth taking. And, and what about the risks? Well, there's always risk with surgery. But if you ask me, I... I think that Angie is being conservative. No risk, no reward, right? So what do you think? Are you interested? I'm gonna miss Lily. 
She always tells it like it is. Yeah, in her own way. And no agenda. And she never kept any secrets, like some people I know. Speaking of which, I gotta go meet your wife for a game of tennis. All right, I'll walk you. And they say chivalry is dead. There's gonna be a lot of tennis players on the way. Maybe you can line up your next conquest. Oh, get back here. <laughs>